All right, guys, so it looks like we're going to get a pretty significant big update coming to Dragon Ball Legends tomorrow night. So let's talk about it because we have quite a few stuff going away. Uh, we have seven events in precise going away. We have about three shops as well and uh, two banners ending with one returning with a different format. So I'm going to explain everything to you guys and what we can expect as well. So if you guys do enjoy this uh, this video and find it informative and helpful, uh, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, yeah, welcome to the family. So I'm recording right now right before I go to sleep. It's about 12 a.m. So I kind of got to go to sleep already, but I'll schedule this video uh, for uh, tomorrow morning, like at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. So whenever I wake up, but yeah, uh, let's sort of get into it, guys. So these two characters right here, you know, we saw that these two characters got shown off in videos and stuff just about two to three weeks ago. So it's been quite a long time now. I do believe these characters should be coming out. Um, you know, nothing is confirmed quite yet, but I'll explain why these characters should come out in just one bit. But before we even get to these characters, guys, uh, let's discuss exactly everything that's going to go away just to get you guys kind of prepared uh, so you guys don't miss a thing because, uh, you know, a, a lot of you guys might miss a shop that's going to go away and you guys, you know, you guys might forget to collect your guys' uh, you know, rewards for those shops. So, uh, first things first is let's talk about these seven events that's going to go away in precise. Now, something really interesting is this ultimate equip, um, equipment challenge uh, collection, uh, you know, event that's going to go away. Now, you know, this event right here is, is really weird just because, you know, if we just take a very quick look at this equipment uh, guide, which is this, you know, we only have three, uh, um, I think three unique equipments that we can collect from this. Yeah. So it's this uh, universal saga equipment followed by the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta equipment, and then this, uh, you know, Future Trunk Saga equipment as well. So this actually ends, as you guys can see, on the 8th of March right here. Let me highlight it for you guys. So just on the weekly reset, you know, does this mean a specific brand new unique equipment coming to Dragon Ball Legends? Perhaps, perhaps not. I'll make sure to keep you guys covered tomorrow night as well when we do get the official leaks from Renzi. So, um, you know, this is specific. It, it could just mean that this is going to come back with various different um, unique equipments. As we, as we can see, we have the Cell Saga one. We have the anime's original saga. We have GT. We have movies. We have Magic Boo Saga. So there's a lot of different ones. So expect some different ones to come back. Nothing is confirmed just yet as to if a new, a new unique equipment uh, should be coming out. So that's something to keep in note. Now, also, all these um, extreme Zenkais are going away. Uh, these were promoted for the Battle Royale, which is uh, going towards its last few days, um, you know, for um, uh, to end. So I, I think we're going to be able to collect our rewards for Battle Royale pretty soon, I'd say so. Uh, possibly next week um, or the following next weekly reset, I would say is when we're going to be able to collect uh, the rewards from the shop, including the crystals and what, what you have it. So I think they have like, uh, I think they also have a uh, brand new unique equipment or not unique equipment. They also have a... Um, which I'm gonna call it. They have a, uh, a a PVP message there as well. So also, uh, space time duel is ending alongside tournament of power and Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush. Now, Ultra Space Time Rush. I really hope that do um, that they bring back the Zenkai Ultra Space Time uh, Space Time Rush Light. You know, I think they pulled back on that because they saw it was really overpowered. Hopefully, they do bring it back though. Um, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow because it's still not you know nothing's official yet. It's just everything we can expect. So. Obviously, a brand new tournament of power. We can collect our crystals off of that. Uh, space time duel usually means, um, it, it typically means uh, new equipments as well. So, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, you know, we have two events ending, which is the Zenkai Chilled, which, you know, we got for free. So, that doesn't really matter. Uh, and as well as this full power Jiren step up format banner. So, this is going to return back to the normal format 20 crystals, uh, single 1000 crystals, uh, normal summon. So, I'd advise you guys either, you know, summon right now or don't summon at all after that. That's just my personal opinion on that because sparking rates are times 20 right there, uh, you know, in this format and double the Z power. After that, everything's going to be gone. It's just going to be a normal banner. So, yeah, that's just my advice to you guys. Um, we have a lot more stuff to talk about in this video, and I'm like half asleep here. Uh, we're gonna get to uh, we're gonna get to these two in just one bit. Um, let's just really quick talk about this. Oh yeah, by the way, we have three shops ending, which is the uh, if you guys haven't collected any of these shops yet, which is the uh, Adventures Drive uh, Drive Out the Oni, the Android 18 Fierce Fight, and then as well as the uh, the raid one that ended already. So yeah, if you guys haven't collected your uh, your rewards off of these shops, I do so now. So. Uh, really quick, let's talk about a potential all-star banner that we might be seeing, guys. Uh, just because, let me explain to you how this works, right? 
the way I like to explain to people is pulling out a uh, calendar. So right now we are, um, you know, headed towards the ninth, right? So let's just say here is a weekly reset. It's on the eighth for me, for you might be the ninth, depending where you guys are. Cause I'm West coast. Um, but you know, on the eighth, let's just say right here, right where, right where I'm circling is, you know, a weekly reset followed by here and here, and you, you guys get the point, right? So right here is where we got full power Jiren. Or actually, no, we didn't even get full power Jiren. Uh, we actually got full power Jiren on the end of the last month, right? So uh, right here is where we got the Zenkai, um, you know, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So the pattern is Zenkai. It's typically Zenkai banner, Zenkai banner, Zenkai banner. That's typically the format they like to follow unless there's free to play characters involved, which, you know, there is going to be Super Saiyan Blue Goku Vegeta uh, involved. I believe they should be coming out this weekly reset. Now, really quick, guys, let's talk about this weekly reset. We should see the Super Saiyan 2, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, excuse me, Goku and Vegeta. I'm like half asleep. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Goku and Vegeta, and as well as a potential All-Star banner, because after that, next week, we should be seeing a brand new Zenkai, because the Battle Gauntlet for Vegeta is ending, and then after that, we should see a brand new LF, right? So that's the format they follow, and then followed by another Zenkai. So right here, there's a gap. As you guys can see, there's a gap. So usually it's uh, banner, uh, you know, like I said, banner. Um, you know, actually, we, we got the all-star banner. Let's see. Yeah, it's been over a month since we got this all-star banner. And it stays around for a very long time. And extra and at, towards the end of this month. So we should potentially be seeing an all-star banner uh, this weekly reset, guys. It makes a lot of sense uh, on the banner format, Zenkai banner, Zenkai banner format. So uh, that's something to definitely keep an eye out on. And um, let's talk about who we might be seeing if it's still following under the trend of a uh, universal saga and what now what you have it there's still a potential crazy amount of uh, universal saga units i mean just take a look at this I, I really hope we do get these in the makings down the line a lot of people did say they do want a um eventually they do want a sparking uh frost i i get that but i don't really care about them to be honest uh, i really want these in the makings i don't know why they're just really cool they're different uh, I would love this. Uh, I, for, I forgot their names too. Like any of these would be pretty cool too. Like, I don't know this freaking guy's name right here. I don't know who he is. Um, like this pig, pig, uh, pig. Uh, I, I just don't know who, I don't know his name is what I'm trying to imply. Right. So uh, yeah, we can definitely see a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, juicy stuff this upcoming uh, weekly reset, which I'll definitely keep you guys updated uh, tomorrow night uh, for the weekly reset around 6, 7 PM Pacific time. Now, really quick guys. Let's talk about, um, you know, let's talk about, no, these are the banners. We talked about that. Uh, God key, right? So we are going to get a God key buff, obviously, because of these two, um, you know, obviously some family, perhaps and Vegeta clan and whatnot. So uh, we are getting these two right here. Now, God key, you know, I, I was about to say, let's see what kind of color they're going to be, but they're free to play, to be honest. And I don't even know what color they're going to be just because, you know, they pretty much have every color covered at this point. They have purple, right? We just got green. Uh, you know, uh, Zenkai Vegeta, you know, we got blue, Hakai Beerus. Uh, they do need a red though. I'm not gonna lie. They do need a red. Um, I've been on top of Dragon Ball Legends case uh, as of late uh, to Zenkai, either Rose, uh, you know, or either this Super Saiyan Goku right here or this Whis, right? This Extreme Whis right here, which would go great with the Hakai Beerus. And just to be honest with uh, God Key in general, or I would love for them to Zenkai, uh, you know, this OG Red Zamasu down the line, perhaps, so yeah, in terms of Universal Saga, guys, this is such a thin tag. It's a pretty good tag as of late because we got Full Power Jiren. You know, we got, uh, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. We got Android 17. We got Hakai Beerus. After that, it's a quite big drop off, to be honest with you guys. Bergamo could kind of still hold his own. I still low-key like Bergamo, but he's outdated. Let's just be real. Uh, Rival Universe, uh, obviously, you know, we have a ton of uh, potential candidates for here as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, ho hopefully down the line, we do get an LF hit or Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, but that's just, you know, not rival universe. I just wanted to say uh, either hit or yeah, you, you get the point. But yeah, guys, you know, I am going to go to sleep because yeah, I've been so busy trying to fix my computer, man. Uh, it's trying to record videos for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's kind of late. It's 1 a.m. now. Uh, so I'm going to schedule this video. I'll probably be asleep while it's, while it, you know, while it'll get posted. So uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll definitely keep you guys posted more uh, tonight as well as because we're going to probably, if, if we do get an all-star banner, we're going to get some previews tonight. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted tonight. So make sure you guys turn on the notifications. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Have a good one. Peace.